We're here at the Ravenscraig Regional Sports Facility uh, to help out at the Scottish Para Badminton Four Nations Championships. 12-11. The event brought together almost 100 of the best of British para badminton talent in a number of events across four disability categories. Dwarf, learning disability, standing and wheelchair. Badminton isn't part of the Paralympics at the moment but it's competing against the likes of powerchair football, golf and taekwondo for a place at the 2020 Games. It's very similar to able-bodied badminton, with a few subtle differences. For example, the front court is always out of bounds in wheelchair games, and other events are half court only. Hello, my name is Lyndon Williams and I'm uh, Chairman of Scottish Disability Badminton. Uh, my background is that I'm uh, an ex-badminton player from uh, a long time ago, uh, and over the last 10 years I've become involved with Parabadminton, disability badminton, uh, not just in Scotland but uh, on, on the world stage as well. I've been really involved with coach education and setting up uh, my own club, you know, a big club, and, and pretty much involved all around. And this weekend has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, the first thing is that we found a venue that's got everything we need, lots of space, but the atmosphere is brilliant. But the good thing about these events is they got there's a cross section of mobility. Um, you have top players, there's some players with the best in the world here, but also we've got other recreational players. But on top of that, I think they get an opportunity to, to meet other people with their own disability as well, as well as people in other categories. There are many opportunities to get involved in the sport, whether it's playing, coaching, or umpiring. And from the people we spoke to, the benefits are obvious. Games, there's an endless list, they could be here for an hour telling you about them. It's just it's so rewarding, especially when you get players. We start, I started a club um, a year and a half ago. We've got two players um, playing today, one of which had picked up a racket a year and a half ago, and she's doing absolutely brilliant playing. And one of the other boy, he's in a, he's in a final, so it's, it's great. Um, it's coaching, it and it's just brilliant. And like for general life skills, you know, for six, I can see you, Mister. It's the actual rewards of it. You get so much from it, and I've been so lucky with what I've been able to do. Start off from the rugby track, yeah. It's competitive fitness aspect. Yeah, it's Just meet new people, get to know people, get to know each other games. They yeah. can, it's a broad sport to play. Many people's parents have had the perception that they don't want to enable their child as having a disability, but in reality, you are preventing your child to have aspirations to be a Paralympian and if you don't put that mindset into your son or daughter's mind then you're, then, then you're just better for the taking part. Well yes it is a process but just to let them have fun and just, just, just enjoy themselves. We get together um, different styles of play, different motivation, um, some grudges to settle <laughs> and you know, it, the next one was always there. Yeah. When I first uh, started doing disability sports, was, um, I'd only just ended up in the wheelchair. A huge change in life. I was a bit scared at first. I kind of thought, hmm. And then I remember the first day I pulled on top of all, it was full of wheelchairs. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I've come home. You know, all these people are like me. And you learn, you don't just learn the sport. It's the confidence, it's the fitness. It's making new faces, and even from a disability point of view, we all play with our disabilities and yeah. we help each other out. Yeah. So it works beyond the club, beyond the sport, it works for your entire life, and I think it's a great thing. For more information, visit the Scottish Disability Sport website and keep an eye on the Young Scott website for more disability sport content from the Young People's Sport Panel.